Wes, a few practices gone here in spring football for this IU football team. Take us through how things have gone, getting up to speed and uh, getting things underway before the spring break. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, it's good to get out there a couple of days and kind of knock the rust off, get get your joints greased up and get things moving a little bit. Um, you know, get your, your footwork down, get your hand placement right. And uh, a big, big part is, you know, seeing the young guys, how they've developed and how they've um, come along too. So. This offensive line group, uh, rare this year as you have everybody coming back from a year ago. How beneficial is that at this stage in the year? Oh, it's huge. You, know, you get a lot of chemistry with guys, you know, playing a whole season together. And then getting that whole group back again is, is really big. You have a chance to maybe expand what you guys do individually from position-wise, maybe show some versatility from a tackle to a guard and things like that, change up positions. Does that help at all? Yeah, and a lot of things carry over. Um, I mean, tackle is going to be a little different, just your, your angles of departure and your kicks and everything like that. Uh, but there's a lot of carryover from each position. So as far as individual drills, you know, plan O line is kind of plan O line. So there's a lot of carryover, which which helps as far as you know transferring positions. Now you have a few practices under your belt. The first few, obviously, not full pads for an offensive lineman. Take us through the fundamentals as far as the, the early focuses of these practices. Yes, yeah, so when we're not in any pads, it's really all about footwork and hands. Um, you know, you can't really. Um, you're not out there to really finish guys, or you're not using your head and, and shoulders as much. Uh, so that's really focusing on you know those small areas of your game that are that are really huge and really make up the world of O line. So.